Hey guys, it's Ino with Flame, and welcome to The Crooked Man. Now this is a game that's part of Uri's The Strange Man series. I actually didn't know that this was part of a series for the longest time, until very recently. And I played this for the first time a few years ago, when everybody else was doing Let's Plays of it, after watching PewDiePie's Let's Play of it, to be exact. And I thought that I might be late to the Let's Play party, but I'm still gonna play it. So without further ado, let's move our mouse out of the way and get on into it. Start, please. It's an RPG horror game, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. Okay. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. That is not a valid exclusion clause. Well, not in the UK anyway. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Oh, I remember this rhyme. I actually had a book of nursery rhymes when I was a little kid, and it had pictures. It had pictures of the crooked man and his crooked cat and his crooked mouse in their little crooked house. But anyway, Paul says, Whew, finally, things look tidy in here. Marion says, that should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? David says, nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me help me move, sorry, exhibiting my inability to read early on in the game. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice! The three of us could go drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Those two are off. So we are playing as this handsome guy right here, and we are David Hoover. We are a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Lame joke, sorry. Anyway, we've got our house here. Let's just look around a little bit. We have a sink, a stove, a refrigerator, cupboards, a clock that stopped at 9 o'clock, an old TV, a big crack in the wall. What? Well, th that's lovely. A box of tissue papers in case we start crying. A phone. An empty trash can. A bed. Which we can sleep in, if we want to, but it's a bit early, it's still 9 in the morning, I think. <laughs> and we have this thing on the table. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Now we've got Paul's license. Paul, how are you going to drive back without your license, sir? Let's look around the other rooms first. We have a wardrobe with not many clothes inside. We've got an old computer. Another clock stopped at 9. Another empty trash can. And on this side we have the bathroom. We've got a washing machine. We have a wash basin with a mirror over it. We have a toilet. Don't want to go. Okay, fine. Uh, and we have a shower and a bathtub, which is very common in Japanese households, by the way. And let's just quickly go and get Paul's license. Hopefully he hasn't left yet. Huh? You hear someone? <coughs> What's with the duck? What's with that place? Seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. Yep, they're talking about me. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. Okay, Paul. You don't want your license? Yep, I guess the license can wait. I better get to bed. Already, David. Fine. Oh, hello, phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? 
Okay, rude. So rude. I just call. I guess I'll just call it a day. I just take it easy for my first day in the new place. Fine words, David. Let's go to sleep. Man, I'm tired. Really? Is that somebody crying? I don't know. I must be deaf or something, because... Okay, yeah, I, I hear it. I hear it. I can't sleep through this. It's not all that loud, really. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Yeah, I should go complain. I shouldn't go comfort them. I should just go complain. Is nobody in here? Nope. Nobody in here? Nope. Let's go check on the neighbors, then. We've got 206, which looks to be empty. This is 205, our own place. 203... Is there no 204? Well, maybe because 4 is actually considered an unlucky number in Japan. 202 looks to be empty. And 201. Let's knock on 201. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? That could apply to a lot of things other than crying, which I shall not mention here. <laughs> I mean, huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You were trying to start something here? You're the guy who moved it to 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Uh, s sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Probably, David. Whatever. I'd better get back to sleep. Yeah, let's do that. But! Why? <laughs> What's splashing around here? Ah! Yikes, the water! Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. What's under the bed? Is there a monster under the bed? Is there a monster that's gonna kill me? Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Yeah, Paul. That's kinda childish. Under the bed, can can I there doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's go to sleep, never mind. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Hmm? I found something. A scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Leave these. Oh, whatever. I'll get back to bed. Night night, Paul. Uh, David, I mean. That sound still? Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. I still. I don't know if it's if it's just me, but I really can't hear that sound. Okay, I can hear that. That's the phone. Wake up, David. Let's go get the phone. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean... Just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Let's go visit. Man, I slept into noon. It's not noon, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Okay, never mind. Let's just go get out of here. Anything out of the ordinaries? No more messages on the mirror? Nope, let's go. Oh, hi, Paul. Paul? 
What is it? E yeah, um... I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks! So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Well, take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. You take him off. So, you just... Ooh. <laughs> the voice acting in this scene is kind of strange, by the way. Got a tiny, teeny, tiny landscape painting over there. You don't need to go in here. <laughs> Why are you laughing so loudly at a hospital? We don't need to go in here either, so this is probably where we need to go. Hi, Mom. Mom? It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, my. If it isn't little Timmy, you certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you much. I'm very busy with work. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. I think she doesn't know who I am. Um, she's probably got Alzheimer's or something. Maybe I can visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David. Remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Yep, she's definitely got Alzheimer's. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? H who are you? Say something, will you? M Mom? Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him, now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Aww. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Oh. Mom! Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please, leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said, leave. <laughs> oh. oh. That, that, that is just terrible. I mean... Oh, that is, that is sad. That is terribly sad. Mrs. Hoover, please, calm down. Oh, bring the sedatives. Oh, no. Mom, no. I can't go back in. Mama! Hi, Doctor. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah. Though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes. She's forgotten a great many things. And she's having trouble controlling her emotions. Yep, Alzheimer's. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. That, that was that was terrible. I mean, to have a parent actually 
What? What was that? Chair, why you move? Why you move, Mr. Chair? At least I can look in these drawers now. Did I move that chair? Um, no. Huh? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? An LLM, by the way, for those of you that don't know, is actually a master's in law. Uh, but you don't really need one to practice, though. A lot of people actually go to practice with, a, with just a regular degree and then get their master's later on. I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Maybe, David. But anyway, um, I think that's about all the time I have for this part. Thank you all so much for- oh. Nope! Looks like I'm gonna have to answer the phone first. Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried about you. It's okay. Tell her, tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Alright, so I think that's as good a time as any to call it an end here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really going to be enjoying making these, this series, so I hope you all enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy making it. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed the video, please do, like, I, I can't even do an outro, I'm so sorry. But anyway, uh, you know what to do. Like the video if you enjoyed it, leave it a comment telling me what to do. Telling me what to. Uh, uh. But yeah, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment telling me that you did. And if you want to see more, because there's definitely more coming up, please do subscribe. And until the next video that I make, this is Eno with Lame signing off. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon. Bye!